Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I've got some brand new makeup. Now of course I'm always sharing with you brand new makeup but this is different because it's a brand new makeup brand to me. I know that it's been out a while but I've never tried any of their makeup and they've sent me about yeah there's three products that I'm going to be sharing with you today two products that I'm going to be trialing today and another one that I'm going to be sharing with you in a separate video and the brand is Focalure. I wonder if any of you have heard of it before and if you have I'd love for you to let me know down below if you've tried anything what your experience has been because like I say it's brand new to me and until they contacted me I'd never even heard of it so I'm so so excited. I'm always up for testing and trialing new makeup and I thought why not share it with you all. So I've got three products here and what I'm going to say is that if you like any of these products or you want to check out the website, so their Instagram uh, details will be down below where you can check out some um, obviously check out their Instagram. You can also check out their website as well, so that link will be down below for you. Um, and do check them out. It is a reasonably priced brand. Not only that, they've sent me a discount code, which I will also have down below, not link down below, have down below. So of course, when you do uh, visit the website, I mean, it's reasonable enough as it is, but my discount code will also entitle you to 20% off your order. So it makes it even more reasonably priced as well. So I am so, so excited about this. So the three products, um, like I say, I've got two eyeshadow palettes to share with you. And I've got this, and it is the Sculpt Glow from Focalure, of course. All of the products will be from the same brand. It's a highlight and contour palette, and it looks like this. Now, of course, I will have all of the links down below, so not only you can check out the website, but you can also check out these products directly as well. What I will say straight away is that I love the packaging. Um, just to start with, not only do I like the look of this packaging, I mean it's rose gold, the leaves, I hope you can see that there. It's simple but it's effective. Not only that, everything had cellophane over it, but also feels, um, even though it's an inexpensive brand, it feels good quality. Um, yeah, I really, really love it. So that's the front of this one, the Sculpt Glow. On the back, as always, you have the ingredients. And I know that you'll like this. It is cruelty-free as well. So there is the cruelty-free. So it's simple, it's effective. I just love it. So I love that. Now, when you open it up and look inside, now, um, I really like the fact that it's small, it's compact, it's plastic. The design is followed through onto the inside. So you've got those like, I don't know, are they palm leaves? Um, anyway, they're some kind of foliage there. And you've got the rose gold um, going through onto the inside. So you can see that along with the Sculpt Glow and of course the brand name as well. And then on the back of this one, it just gives you the name or the shade name. And I've gone for 03. Again, all the details will be down below. I'm sure that there is a name for this one as well, but it is 03 that I went for, and there is like a shade name. Um, I'll pop that down below. Inside, when you open it up, so you have a good quality mirror. You can see that there without blinding you. So a good quality mirror. So if you do want to pop it into your handbag and you're on the go, then of course you've got the mirror there. There is no brush with this, but I do find that um, you know there are other brands that I've trialed over the last um, couple of weeks that have those mini brushes and I never use them unless I'm in absolute desperate need. So um, there's no brush in here, but also I really like the fact when I show you the product that um, you've got the contour there and the highlight and the contour has got that outer foliage design on the actual pan there. So that's running through onto the inside. So I'm really looking forward to trialing this. Looking, um, looking at it, I would say the highlight is perfect for me because I don't like anything too stark. Um, not quite sure about the contour, but I'm gonna be trialing it and see how I get on. 
it's all about trial and error with makeup and as you know from the products that I share with you I do love to share with you less expensive products plus a few high-end although I am getting more into the mindset now of why pay more why pay more for products when you can actually get some fantastic deals fantastic products um, you know for a lot less okay so the next product that I'm going to share with you is the first of the two eyeshadow palettes and this one is called sunset so the packaging looks like that obviously as the name suggests it's very um, well sunset inspired you've got those palm trees and yeah just looks absolutely stunning um, and it says on the back obviously the brand name Focaleur it says the sunset is a 12 shade eyeshadow palette um, you've got also ingredients there and you've got that it is cruelty free as well again this was wrapped in cellophane and I do feel that um, I do think sorry that it is quality it doesn't feel cheap and even though it is inexpensive it doesn't feel like it's going to fall to pieces um, now moving on to the actual palette and I know that a lot of you will like this because it's a card palette and it is like this so again the outer packaging runs through onto the inner palette itself um, again it's very um, you've got the sunset but it's not you know bells and whistles it is I think it's very very simple in fact in the fact that you've got the picture there the brand name and I just I don't know I just feel that it looks beautiful it represents the name of the palette and I just love it love the look of it I love that it's card I don't necessarily always like card palettes but I just feel that this is so well made that yeah you know it's absolutely fine so again you've got the ingredients just on the outer packaging and um, so that is running through onto the inner palette and again it says cruelty free there what I like when you look inside you have again got a mirror here with one of those um, sheets that you can peel off I won't peel it off because it will just blind you but you can see that that is a is a decent mirror it's not wavy in any way it's good quality just as the contour and highlight palette then when we look at the um, shades they are absolutely beautiful something a little bit different you've actually got um, let me just see if I can get it closer can you see that these are they're like shimmer shades but they just have like a then they look more than shimmers you can see that that's a shimmer but that looks like it's a glitter shimmer and um, that's the only way that I can explain it and that one's the same and so is that one but you have got shimmers you've got mattes and then you've got these more intensive kind of shimmers that look I don't know they just look more than shimmers that's my um, thoughts at the moment you do also have a double ended brush as well um, it doesn't look too bad at all you've got a fluffier end and you've got a little bit more of a um, flatter more denser brush there um, I won't be using that today but for anyone who likes palette brushes there is a um, pretty good brush in there um, but yeah really love the look of these um, you've got some really good lighter tones, mid tones, deeper tones, and then you've got shimmers. So basically, from just looking at this palette, I am pleased because at the moment, it looks like you've got all of the shadows needed for a, an eye look, which is basically what I've been saying all week. Um, the next palette I went for was this one. It's from the same kind of palette family on the website, and it is called Burning again it's a 12 color eyeshadow palette of course from Focaleur um, and this one looks like this so again as the name suggests it's very much inspired by flames um, and I just again love the quality of the packaging again on the back you've got the ingredients that it's cruelty free and of course the brand name then getting into the um, palette again the outer packaging runs through onto the actual palette itself so exactly the same it, apart from it's more metallic just like the first one really really love it and I think it's giving me and you a little bit of an insight as to what's inside again ingredients cruelty free again you've got a mirror that is covered um, there we go um, it's a good quality mirror I'm not going to take the plastic off just yet because it's 
easy for me to show you like that. Again, you've got a double-ended brush, but look at these shades. Now, I chose this palette um, and I, it was really, really lovely of the brand not only to contact me, and I always feel absolutely honoured when a brand contacts me and asks me would they like to send or would I like them to send um, products because obviously, you know, it's an honour for me that they've noticed me. But with this brand, they actually allowed me to choose what I wanted. So these palettes spoke to me um, and then they said what I could basically have, but, um, you know, eyeshadows and things like that. And then they said I could choose one of the Sculpt and Glow, so I chose a shade of that. But the eyeshadows, like I say, these really spoke to me and I went for this one because of the yellow. I mean, you know, if you've been watching me for a little while now, you know I'm obsessed with yellow. So yeah, I really, really love the shades in here. They look beautiful. What I'm going to do is choose one of these palettes now and then I'll focus on one palette and then I'll do a separate video at the beginning of next week so that you can, um, and I think I'm going to go for sunset today. So I'll do swatches of this one. Burning I will leave for a separate video, but all the details that are down below in this video will be down below in that one. So if you wanted to wait and look at the, um, or close up and personal with the burning palette, and wait to place an order if you wanted to go ahead, then of course um, I'll be sharing that with you Monday or Tuesday, depending on, yeah, I think it will be Monday to be honest. I want to share it with you as soon as possible. And not only that, I really want to get into the palette. But yeah, all the same details, you know, their Instagram uh, web address and the discount code, which is uh, just my channel name, Samantha JL, um, will be down below. So if you do forget or you don't want to search for it again, it's all down below for you. So let's get into the Sculpt and Glow first of all, and then I'll, um, so I'll do swatches of this one, swatches of the eyeshadow, trial it all on, and then there'll be a second video for the Burning Palette. Just because I've only got so many eyes, um, I wish, I wish I could trial everything, but anyway. Okay, so of course we've looked around the Sculpt Glow. Let's go into swatches on this one. I don't really want to touch it because of that pattern. I'll have to swatch it down here. So let's go into the actual swatches first and then, um, then I'll actually try it on. Now that I think, I mean, it's so difficult, isn't it? Choosing things from websites because sometimes the pictures don't reflect um, the product that well. But actually that is going to be not too bad at all for me. I can see that that is going to match fairly well. Um, obviously I can't guarantee that until I've got it on my face. So let's try the highlight. That looks beautiful. Okay, so there are both of the products from the Sculpt Glow. Now to start with, you know, straight off the bat, um, not too bad at all. I think the swatches are very good. Sometimes when you swatch powders, especially matte powders, you often get um, lumps of product, but I didn't get any of that. There's no fallout that's gone anywhere. Um, and the same with the shimmer, no fallout, no chunks. It's you know glided onto my arm and yeah, so far so good. So let's have a little go of this. Now you can see all I've got is my foundation, my brows, I've set my eyes and I've got a little bit of um, lip liner. Um, and lip gloss and all my extra makeup will be listed down below for you but it is the usual um, and if you're a regular viewer you will know what I mean. I'm going to be using the uh, NYX fan brush it's numbered I believe 06 just because it's my favourite and yeah let's get into this again I don't really want to do this because I'm going to it's still there it's fine I really love that um, I really love the design of it. Okay, I'm just going to go around my forehead to see. I'm not going to bother with contour. No, I'm not going to bother with bronzer or blush. I'm just going to let the contour speak um, for itself today because I think if I start adding other brands and other products over the top, you're not going to 
really be able to check it out properly so but that is beautiful it's blended really well so it's blended beautifully on my forehead love that okay now let's go down the side of my face and then bring it down here so I'm probably going to put it in the areas where I do put my contour and a little bit of bronzer it's I'm not having to work too hard to you know to do anything it's basically the product is doing it for all you know and the brush obviously but you you know sometimes you get these products and you just I don't know it, you just have to really work at it don't you um, but yeah I'm really pleased with that I'm just gonna deepen up this area and you can see that that is making that shadow I haven't got cheekbones to speak of um, because I've got quite a rounded face but that has chiseled it out for me and yeah very very good so let's do the same on this side go down the face the pattern is still there so the pattern is not going anywhere so I'm really pleased about that it's such a pretty product and you know sometimes when you get these pretty products you really don't want to use them do you um, but it's just beautiful love it it's really I don't know it's very nice blending very very well obviously like I say I'm just gonna let this product speak to you carving out a little bit But yeah not too bad at all okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my um, foundation brush I'm just going to soften it a lot lightly around the edges because I'm not putting you know blush or anything on I want it to just be a little bit softer okay so that is the contour done you can see it's contoured very very well um, so far you know impressed with that now I want to see what the highlight is like now I'm very very fussy with highlight there's not many highlights that I like to use um, and I'm really hoping for good things from this it looks like a beautiful shade as we've seen from the swatch so I'm going in with one of the flex brushes from revolution my favorite um, to apply highlights so I'm just going into that and I'll do it this side I think Oh my word, that is pigmented. Wow, you don't need to dip into, you know, you don't have to dig your brush in. Basically, I only just tapped it lightly. So if you like intense highlights, you're gonna like this. That is stunning. Love it. That is gorgeous. Now, even though it is quite pigmented, um, it blends beautifully. Love it. It's just blended so pretty, prettily on the um, cheekbone there. And you can see that that has carved that one. I always have an issue with, um, I can do one side very well, which I have done, you can see that. But the other side, I can't always get it right. I don't know if it's because I'm right-handed and I can't do the left side very well. <laughs> but anyway, there's always one side, isn't there, that always looks better than the other. But anyway, I'm really pleased with that. It's added contour to my face, um, and that is obviously what I wanted. Um, so, so far, very, very pleased with that. But obviously, I'll give you my review at the end. So I'm just going to roll up my sleeve and 
we'll get into some eyeshadow swatches. So of course, I'm going to be using the Sunset Eyeshadow Palette today. And let's go in with all of the swatches. I am so excited about this because those three shades, I mean, the shades I'm talking about is this one, this one, and this one. And they have all got names. Again, I know that a lot of us, um, a lot of you, like I say, including me, love the names underneath, so I really like that. Um, but these look really quite different. I've not seen anything like them. They look like crushed gems. Anyway, let's get into the um, swatches. So the first row we've got, this is Baby. Um, should I do it like that? Yeah. So this is Baby and it is a matte cream. So you can just see that there, so that's baby. Then we've got frost. So again, it's matte, but we're getting a little bit deeper now. Okay. Then we have um, a sunray, which again is a little deeper still and you'll be able to see that from the swatch. So this is what I like from a palette. So you've got a matte cream, you've got a, then a lighter, um, you know, a matte, like a brown shade, neutral. Then you've got a deeper neutral, again, all matte. Um, I'm just going to get one of my wipes because we are getting into the deeper colours. Now the first shade, this is the first one that looks like crushed pearls and it's called Poison or Crushed Gems and it's a duochrome and it has got, oh, wow. Now it, you saw in the palette it looked very white but on the skin it looks silver but it's got a pink shift to it. Wow. It feels, um, it's not flat, it feels like it's a um, it's and it also feels like it's it's powder but it also feels like it's a cream as well I mean that is just stunning so that's the first four then we've got the second row the middle row so we start off with foil wow oh another duo chrome so this is it looks like it's a gold in the pan but it's actually you can see the shift there in fact, it's the other way around because in the pan, it looks gold, um, like a bronzy gold, but then on your arm, it's got a deeper shift. So yeah, it's usually the other way around with uh, duochromes. So that was a shimmer. Then we've got Horizon, which is a deeper ready brown matte. I'll just clean my finger off with that. Then we've got the second of those shimmers oh stunning that we've got heat now so this one is heat it's not a duochrome um but it looks beautiful again it look, feels nearly wet um but it is a powder and then the last one on the second row is called ending oh and it's a copper that is absolutely beautiful. You can see by the swatches, I'm not having any problems whatsoever with these. They are gliding onto the arm. Um, I'm, in, I'm in love so far. Now, again, we've got one of those, um, like, it looks like crushed, like, pearls or gems. And this one is called Firework. Um, I'm going to have to go up here now. Oh, wow love it so that is a firework oh, that is gorgeous you can tell i'm loving this so far um, we have an another matte next called chic just doubling that up i didn't do that very well at all so we've got chic and that was my error there um, another it's like a red brown that one then we have burnt which is a very deep brown so we've got burnt there gorgeous just clean my finger for the very last one 
and it's a shimmer called Youth. Oh, absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, I'm really impressed by the swatches so far. Um, I know that we always say now, don't we, that you know you can't um, you can't see what an eyeshadow is or tell what an eyeshadow is going to be like until you till you pop it on the eyes. But going by the swatches so far, beautiful absolutely stunning definitely a palette so far that I can make a full look from so I'm really excited about this so as always I'm just going to pat my base down I have set it but my eyelids are very oily today so um, so I've got my base on and I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to set it again because although it is set, I've got a little bit of oil going on and I'm going in with the second shade um, that I swatched called Frost. Now, even though that is a, that's the second shade in, it's got a little bit of color to it. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm not gonna go all the way up because I think that will be Oh, it's just given me a light colour so I'm really really impressed with that so far because you know with these um, palettes sometimes especially the lighter shades you'd get no payoff whatsoever so that's given me a little bit of payoff there um, I probably needed to go in with baby perhaps which was the very very first shade now what I'm going to do is go in with the sun ray which was the third shade in um, and what I will say straight away is that I've hardly touched the pan and the pigmentation on the brush is amazing. So let's go in and see what that, oh, wow. <laughs> um, I'm surprised that again, is such well fantastic pigmentation as I've done exactly what I did yesterday and I've took it up a little bit high um, that was the brush okay let's um, do that again on the other side oh. beautiful and I'm hardly having to do anything I mean, if you don't um, or you can't wear too much makeup, um, you've got a lot of neutrals in here. Um, this is what I've done. I've gone for fairly neutral palette um, with some beautiful shimmers. And then with the burning palette, I've gone with a little bit more of a pop of colour, but still wearable though. Oh, love that. Okay, I'm now going to swap over to my eye contour brush and I'm going to go in with Horizon, which is, and I'm going to turn it up, second row, second shade. Obviously it's different for you because I've got it upside down. That one there and see what this one does in the crease. Now you've got a lot of browns in this one. If you like neutrals, you've got a lot of browns to, um, you know, give you that beautiful base that we're all striving for before we add the shimmer. Oh, my hair's trying to get in on the act. That is very, very pigmented. love it you can see it's warm it's beautiful um just stunning i mean they do have lots and lots of eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes to choose from so if you don't particularly like warm eyeshadows i'm sure that you'll be able to find something that you absolutely love in fact i felt spoilt for choice it was very very difficult to just pin down 
one or two palettes because I thought, wow, you know, I was like a child in a sweet shop. You know, I could have had this one or that one or that one. Stunning. And they're blending effortlessly. Oh, gorgeous. This is so exciting because like I say, this is brand new to me. I've never um, tried anything from this brand before, never really heard anything about it. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. I'm just blending out the top just because it is pigmented. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I think I need to add a little bit under here first of all. So I'm going in with Sunray to start with. just to give me a little bit of a base. What I also like is that um, there is a little bit of a kick up, nothing major, um, hardly anything at all. Um, but yeah, beautiful powders. But yeah, hardly any kick up whatsoever, but I'm mentioning it because you know that if there's a tiny bit of kick up, it tells me that it's gonna be a good palette. And well, I cannot stress how pigmented and how beautifully these blend. Now I'm just going in with the second shade, which was Horizon, and just deepening that up near to the actual lash line. If you love warm shades, you're gonna love this palette. Now what I'm going to do is, using the same brush, I'm going to add a little bit of depth now with Burnt, which is um, a little bit cooler and a little bit deeper. And obviously you don't have to use as many eyeshadows as I am. It is just because I want you to see that um, how well these blend and also I've never tried this brand before so I want to see how how many I can you know layer and get that blend so um, so far it's just beautiful oh, love it it always works when you add a little bit of depth um, on the outer and in the crease out a third of the eye it just if you put you know a lot of warm shades together just put a little deep cool shade and it just brings it all together oh i'm going to put that underneath as well absolutely a beautiful a little bit more of burnt I'm thinking to myself, how how come I haven't ever heard of this brand? Oh, stunning. Just got to take it up a little bit higher. There we go. So to hide my hooded lids. nothing to do with the eyeshadows but um, it's just takes me a little while to get the eyeshadow the same so that the hooded lids are not are hidden basically I really really so far I just love it I'm going to put a little bit more burn here we're going deep we're going smoky which is basically what I've done nearly all week with my um, festive looks. That is just 
gorgeous. I do love a beautiful neutral base and that is just perfect. So just blending out the edges to make sure that, although to be fair, that's actually done it all, you know, for itself. So that so far is the eye look. What do I put on the lid? So that's the mattes done, I should say. I really want that firework. Um, let me look at the swatches. I'm really looking for that one. Oh, but then again, I really love that one. Oh, <laughs> there's just so much choice. I think I'm going to go in with firework on the lid. And if I have to lighten it up, I'll put a little bit of poison over the top. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, it is like, I know that obviously it's a powder, but it's like putting a cream on your eye because it's just so stunning. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely love it. I'm leaving a little bit on the, right on the inner part of the lid because I want some light there. Oh, that is just stunning. Again, as I always do, I'm going back in with a little bit of burnt, just to make sure we've got the depth here. Oh, stunning. Now I'm getting my um, favourite brush at the moment to put my inner corner on, or inner corner highlight. It's the 250 Pencil and Powder Smudge Brush. Um, nearly mispronounced it there. And I'm now going in with Poison, which was that beautiful icy duochrome. So let's see what this looks like. I'm getting a little bit of fallout now that I'm using it on a brush. I think these shimmers probably work better um, applied with a finger but you know it's working it you just have to be patient I suppose um, with it and just keep applying it oh that's better on that side You can see it better there. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I suppose the brush is probably primed now, isn't it? With the product. Oh. It looks beautiful because it's got that pink glow to it. I hope you can see that okay. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because we've got a little bit of fallout there. So you might, I suppose, need to wet the brush with an inner corner if you're using um, one of these powders, obviously, um, as the inner corner. But it still looks beautiful. It just is a little bit of work to use the shimmer with a brush. But yeah, you can see it now. There's also a little bit of fallout with the shimmer when you use a brush rather than, a fi than your finger. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow applied. I'm just going to apply a little bit of liner. Here we go. I'm, I knew I brought it with me. So um, just apply a little liner. Everything else that, uh, whoops, don't poke yourself in the eye. Everything else that I'm using um, will be listed down below. There we go, that's better. Just don't put yourself in the eye with it. Okay. I'm 
just applying a little bit of mascara And basically that is the look done so let me show you it close up you can really see that duochrome there on the eye can't you like I say it's got a pink shift so let me just close my eyes I hope you can see the eye look now so yeah that is the eye look complete using the sunset um, from Focalure the Eye, uh, the eyeshadow palette is from Focalure as I, <laughs> I'm getting totally confused and carried away now you can tell how excited I am and of course I've also used the sculpt glow and um, palette as well I'll just show you the inside because even though I've used it um, you've still got the palm tree there so yeah the, the pattern patination on there is still there but I am obsessed with this eye look absolutely beautiful stunning i need a little bit of blush but obviously like i say i really wanted the contour to speak to you because it's pointless me putting a blush and all that all of that over the top you wouldn't be able to see it throughout this video so that is everything that i wanted to share with you today of course i am going to be sharing with you a separate video and sharing with you the second palette which of course is called burning can't wait to share with you the swatches of that and a try on of course I mean I am loving it what I will say is I'll now go through what I think of each product and then obviously I will close the video for you um, so the sculpt glow from um, Focalure is um, I found the powders very soft very they blended beautifully they went onto my cheek there's always a patch here so if you're thinking it hasn't adhered no brand ever adheres to one spot on my cheek and one spot on the other side it's always the same i don't know why but it, it's just me it's not the product but i really love the color it's difficult when you order online to check um you know or to get the correct color for you but actually i don't think i did a bad job so this one is numbered zero three all details will be down below so i love the powder of this i think it works absolutely beautifully blended beautifully as well the highlight now i'm not a huge fan of highlight but i must say that this is stunning if you like an intense highlight you're going to love this it's beautiful and of course you can just put a little bit on you don't have to um, go heavy-handed if like me you like that glow from within so overall really enjoyed this palette loved it actually love also the packaging I love that it's plastic but it's not too bulky it's just it it just feels like quality to me even though it's inexpensive and then moving on to the eyeshadow palette well I think you know what I'm thinking about the sunset eyeshadow palette I think the swatches absolutely stunning and then you know sometimes when uh, products swatch well you think mm, are they going to apply well but actually it did it applied very well as well onto the eye the only thing that I would say is that the shimmers they um, I mean you know it did work well in the end I just had to prime the brush with a little bit of product but after a moment or two of applying the product um, yeah it, it did well but I think shimmers are always best applied with fingers anyway um, and I really am obsessed with that lid shade the whole look I mean to me um, the base is always the most important because you know that's shimmers um you know i don't know shimmers are secondary to me even though i love shimmers but the base that matte base is everything to me and once you get that matte base if i can talk that matte base applied um you know you, the shimmer then usually um just adds a little accent but you're looking mainly at that matte base and the mattes in here are stunning really pigmented they kick up a tiny tiny very minimal um i mean you can see there's there's nothing on the palette whatsoever um they're very soft 
um, powdery, obviously, because they are powder, but they, they don't kick up a great deal. You're not going to have lots and lots of fallout. The inner corner highlight, yes, there was a little bit of fallout because, like I say, I always say that shimmers are best applied with the finger, but in the end, it worked very well. But on the whole, obsessed with that palette. I now can't wait to test out the Burning Palette. Now, all I want to, um, well, all I have to say is that I would love to receive your comments. What are you thinking about the items that I've shared with you today? Have you ever tried the products from this brand? Um, and what are your thoughts? Um, but yes, yeah, so far, so good. And um, why haven't I heard about it before? That's what I want to know. So, um, like I said, all the details are down below their website. Instagram to check them out and of course that code to receive your 20% off if you want to obviously place an order. It's very reasonably priced anyway and then to get 20% off is, an, well, it's a bonus, isn't it? So yeah, do keep those comments coming in um, and if you have just stumbled across my video, my channel and my video, I would love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. But as always, until tomorrow, Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you.